Hey, Walking Dead fans, welcome back to Comic Book Corner 2.0. And fans, you're back with me, Mike Spider Slayer, getting ready to talk about The Walking Dead Season 6, Episode 10. And uh, it was a pretty good episode. Now, I want to talk about a couple things of what happened in this episode. Now, uh, if you haven't seen the episode, please watch it first, then come back and see my thoughts and uh, learn a little bit about Jesus and uh, the whole thing with Michonne and Rick. So, uh, here we go. So, in this episode of The Walking Dead, guys, we get introduced to Jesus for the first time. Now, we knew he's been coming for a little while because obviously that he has been casted. But for the guys that haven't known or don't know who Jesus is uh, from the comic books, uh, he first appeared in issue number 92, his real appearance where you saw his whole face and you start to get to know who he is as a character. And the way he was introduced uh, was a little different because he was spying on Rick's uh, camp, Alexandria. And uh, so that's kind of like how he was introduced. And now in the show, he was introduced in a way that was actually kind of comical, uh, which was fun. Um, you know, Rick and, and Daryl were out going after some supplies. They found this truck, and you get to see Rick and Daryl and Jesus battle this truck for the for for its supplies. Uh, and uh, it was really comical to see that happen. And you, right away, you can sense that Jesus is not a bad guy. He's just looking out for what is his community. Now, again, if you're not familiar with the comic books, uh, you don't know at this point that Jesus does have. Um, a community that he goes to uh, and it's called the hilltop and uh, basically what happens is that you're gonna find out that Rick and Jesus have a common threat and that is Negan and the Saviors because Negan is the one that's stealing all their supplies from the hilltop just like Negan and his group is gonna steal supplies from Alexandria and then they have this this common threat and they basically join together and they become friends Jesus becomes one of the most trusted allies in uh, in in and for Rick's group going into the future. So, uh, seeing that in this episode, these two or these three meet for the first time was awesome, and you can really get a sense of of Daryl and Rick's friendship in this uh, episode as well. And you can see the chemistry with each other really works in this show. I mean, it really shines when it focuses with those two together, and uh, I loved it. I really loved the introduction of, of Jesus in this episode. Uh, I actually liked it better than the comic books. Uh, it was entertaining. And we don't get to see that much humor in The Walking Dead either. So there was a lot of humor in this particular episode. Now let's flip flop to the other side of things uh, when we got to the end of this episode, which was just as funny when we got to the end of it as well. Uh, and it was funny because earlier in the season I was speculating would Jesse survive the zombie apocalypse? And, uh, and that theory was obviously shot in the dark saying that, you know, she wouldn't and she died just like she did in the comic books. But who would replace Andrea as Rick's love interest in the comic books? Well, we finally got to see that here and we finally saw that Michonne and Rick hook up together for the first time in the series. Now, you kind of got hints of it in this episode because a few weeks has passed and you can see how close that Michonne really has gotten to Carl, not even in this season, but in previous seasons. And you gotta sit there and 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 Carl's gotta look up to Michonne as as almost a uh, a mother figure at this point in time. And uh, and at the end of this episode, yes, we see Rick and Michonne hook up, like I said. And uh, at the very end of the episode, we wind up seeing those two lying in bed together, which is which is pretty cool because they're lying in bed together. You got the gun on one side of the nightstand, and you have the sword on the other side of the uh, of the bed. And then there's freaking Jesus uh, sitting there going, "Rick," you know. And I thought that was awesome. And Jesus was really cool because he always has this 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 tenacity to get out of things, and and that's his character too. He's a, he's a great fighter. Um, he can get at himself out of tight spots and then there's uh, uh, something about his um, his sexuality in the future that you'll find out as well but uh, again he, he is a great character but the this overall episode I thought was really well done and uh, again 
I thought that Michonne and Rick make a good couple. I mean, she's just the... At this point in time in the show, she is the one that would take Andrea's spot. She's the most likely one, and uh, and those two work with each other, and I and I think it was really good. So um, overall, I thought this episode was a lot of fun. Uh, I can't wait to see next week's episode. It was great to see that lighter tone to the show that we don't always see that often. So uh, after watching this one, I gotta give this one a five out of five stars. Now. Again, I, I didn't think the Michonne and Rick thing would be uh, such a uh, quick thing, but uh, it happened, and uh, I like it because I think those two work well together. And uh, the other cool little Easter egg in there is once again we saw Carl uh, reading a Invincible comic, which was pretty neat as well. So Robert Kirkman keeps throwing in his Invincible in there as well. So uh, for the rest of the episode, I'll let you guys watch and enjoy. Uh, but overall, great episode. And guys, tell me what you thought of Jesus in the comments below. What do you think of the Michonne and Rick hookup? And uh, and uh, guys, as always, thank you for watching Comic Book Corner 2.0. And until that next comic book review, this is Mike Spider Slayer signing off. Take care, fans. See you soon.